What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Say man, each day is new day, be a better version of yourself. Don't never let somebody tell you who you are. Don't let somebody bring you down. Always fight back. Also, never put yourself in a position you don't belong. Stay humble, gang. Let's stay on this movement and this revolution, man. Come to the black Hebrew Israelites as a real Jew, man. Let's get into this bitch and let's get all right. <clears throat> Today, it's motherfucking day. Show you who knows our big crib in the gang. No side shit. So, man. You know what I'm saying? YNW Millie, man. This case been going on for at least about six or seven years, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We done grew up, seen Millie when he was lit, seen Millie when all the shit was happening. Now we seen Millie at the almost towards the end of the um trial, man. They trying to push this trial back to September the 10th, 2025, gang. All the way into next year, gang. Um... The reason I've been hearing around line why they doing this shit, man, is because they trying to bring up no criminal charges on YNW Millie. You know what I'm saying? So he facing the death penalty already. You know what I'm saying? So if he beat the death penalty, you know what I'm saying? Fuck that. They got no charges on this nigga. They said if he, if he beat the death penalty, he still can face life in prison with these new charges he got um, in the case about um, the, the trial and shit and what's been going on in the trial, man. The feds, they want this nigga gone. They don't care if it's death or in jail for life. They want this nigga gone. They gonna add new things to it. They gonna make up some shit and they gonna try to get this nigga out the paint. When they want you gone, they want you gone, man. So. I'm saying still free Millie to his backwards. You know what I'm saying? So we got his mama speaking on the issue. And we got some of the court shit that's going on in the court. And what's really happening behind the scenes, man. So I hope y'all uh, like, subscribe, and push the movement, man, of us trying to free niggas and show niggas, hey, man, it's not sweet out here, man. Anything can happen. So let's get it. RP, I mean, shout out to District Trending, man. Hey, man, I don't know why they pushing back on YNW Millie Trial. It's alongside his new trial date, as it would then be reported, YNW Melly's double M retrial is now set for September 2025. Now, his mother would even give an update outside of the courthouse only 20 minutes after the new trial date was set. Free Melly till he's free. He's coming home, guys. Just patience. So, we did have court today, him and Bort. They both had court. And so basically, the judge put a new trial date in for September 10th of 2025. Please make it make sense. I just, I don't know. I don't know. At this point, they need to just dismiss the case. So, and uh, yeah, he still doesn't have phone calls. Still no visitation. He's still... Um, in the new facility all alone by himself no contact he's not allowed to have contact with any other inmates they move him around with several guards it's it's like something you never 
With the trial being so far away, lawyers online have already commented believing that Melly's lawyers are going to be pushing for a bond or even a house arrest grant from the new judge. As with YNW Melly being in jail for over five years now, it is very likely that it'll be granted. However, there is one thing preventing it, as YNW Melly was just hit with new charges alongside YNW Bortland. This is what resulted in the retrial not being started now for another year. The state filing six new charges against Demons and two others Big who were no. allegedly involved. The charges include tampering with a witness, directing the activities of a criminal what? solicitation or conspiracy to commit tampering and unlawful use of a two-way communication device. Now, a couple of those charges actually carry a life in prison what? sentence if there's a conviction. YNW Melly, his real name is Jamel Demons. He's actually in plain clothes in the courtroom Man. for the first time in months again the long process of seating a new jury. As all of these new charges are connected to YNW Borland's massive mistake, YNW Juvie's father would go on to expose how YNW Melly and Borland were witness tampering and even what code words they were using to make Melly's ex-girlfriend not testify against him in the original trial. This alongside his next biggest mistake. Both uh, Melly, Jamel Demons, YNW Melly, and uh, Cortland Henry, who is known as YNW Borland, are now charged with witness tampering. It sounds like the prosecutors are saying there was this kind of crazy way that Melly was communicating. He wasn't allowed to use the phone, but he was passing notes to people, and then this person's calling this person, and then that person. They like to me, they're going through extreme measures to try to cover up or convince people not to testify, like Mariah, Mariah mom. They was using cold words like Rihanna and they said Rock. Ew, we're not getting that. Ew. Rocket's baby mom. And As not only that charge will be going against YNW Melly in Portland, but also what they found at YNW Portland's house. As while he was outside, his house would be raided by the feds, and they found insane paperwork against YNW Melly in Portland. Melly's co defendant, YNW Portland, was booked into a Miami jail Monday night and is being held behind bars on an out of county warrant. We just confirmed the warrant is out of Broward County for witness tampering. The warrant obtained by Long Crime Network states as follows. On or about April 10th, 2023, continuing through and including July 22nd, 2023, Cortland Henry, a.k.a. Bortland, along with others, did unlawfully and knowingly engage in misleading conduct toward another person with the intent to cause or induce them to withhold testimony. The warrant continues the alleged witness had been summoned by the legal process to the jury trial of Jamel Demons, a.k.a. Y&W Melly. The dates in the warrants are important. Jury selection for Melly started in mid-April, and a judge declared a mistrial on July 22nd, the same day the warrant claims Bortland allegedly tampered with the witness. As it would then be announced by Bryson Paul, here are the images of alleged notes discovered during the home raid of YNW Bortland's home last week as filed into the Broward clerks by the state. Alongside these photos of YNW Bortland literally drawing on a piece of paper detailing where certain jurors were sitting, Damn. along with a description of what they looked like during the original YNW Melly trial. To understand how serious this actually is, Damn. here's DJ Academics' reaction. To keep it real, this is sloppy. Portland, how the f*** you gonna have the notebook of the jurors in your house? Like, God damn. Holy s***. You know what I mean? Like, brother, like, come to f*** on. It, 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 it's, like, it's like doing a and and having... The, the surveillance tape in your DVD player or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Like, like they raid your crib and and the and the the, the surveillance footage of the is in your DVD player. They're like, oh, okay, thank you, brother. This can't be at your crib. The new lead prosecutor against YNW Melly in the upcoming retrial will be entering all of that evidence into the case alongside new, very hard evidence against Melly in the passing of Sack Chaser and Juvie. As the new lead prosecutor is going to make it very simple to make YNW Melly look guilty in the retrial. It all begins with a man named Jay Hood. A close friend of late King Vaughn shared a secret during a recent interview that YNW Melly told King Vaughn in confidence many years ago. Did Vaughn really tell you that Melly told him that he was two friends he ain't come out and say like we got into an argument and so you know if, if, if you know when people could say something without saying it and so he told me like once i posted what i posted he burned was mad at me bro 
why you put up there, bro? Walk the bam. I'm like, you you sitting up here, like you know the love we got. You do this for us, but you gonna trust that a his two friends? And he said, them was trying to extort him. And so I'm like, if they was trying to extort him, then, then, then why are you still around him? Making many speculate that YNW Melly may have asked King Vaughn on how to handle a situation such as this with Sack Chaser and Juvie going after Melly for financial gain. And if you know anything about King Vaughn's resume, you would likely know how Vaughn would have handled the situation. This then leads into the new evidence from Melly's cell phone of text messages of Melly literally admitting to doing the crime. The PZ Campino account asked him if he was okay and his response was, I did that and placed a smiley face emoji. And the next message from 1026-2018 at 16.02, the wind of email account says what? After that, then this being paired with concerning evidence shared by Sergeant Williams, where he would reveal that there is no way this could have been a drive-by, and the person that committed the crime and that is guilty had to have been sitting in the back left seat of the Jeep they were driving in. Number is 17 outside the car. How many rounds were inside the car? Three. And can you exclude the sh for Mr. Williams and Mr. Thomas is coming from outside of the car? Yes, that uh, has some movement in it, which is round uh, site L here. The, uh, the is actually moving in that to create the, uh, the little bit of a that you see there. With Sergeant Williams revealing the crime must have happened inside of the vehicle during the original YNW Melly trial, this is then when we saw YNW Juvie's mother go to the stand and share who was actually sitting there. Uh, can you state your name? Your full name is your father. Leon Cruz. And um, are you related to one of the kids in this case? Yes, I am. How's that? I'm his mother. And who is that? Christopher Thomas. Positive to 1915. Um, Ms. Phyllis, did you see who entered into the occupants who entered into that gray, gray Jeep? Mm -hmm. And is that a yes? Yes. Do you recognize where your son entered that gray Jeep? Yes. Which seat, if you can identify for the jury? Um, he got in the back seat on the um, right hand side. Did you recognize the individual that got into the back seat on the left side, the rear driver's side? Yes. And who was that individual? Jamel. And Jamel, is that the defendant? Jamel Demons? Yes, ma'am. As you may remember, YNW Juvie's mother going on that stand during the original YNW Melly trial really affected YNW Melly's mother, as all of the moms in the YNW group were all friends and they were all very close, which is what even led into YNW Melly's mother having a breakdown inside of the courtroom so bad that YNW Melly, during an official court hearing, had to ask if she was okay. This was the first time we saw anyone from YNW Melly's camp not look country. very confident at all during the original trial. This even went so viral that rap OG Boosie would react about his feelings of YNW Melly's mother and what she's been going through. Okay, so then sure. I met his mama while he was in. Okay. I met his mom while he was in and uh she was she was she real, bro. You know she real. You stressed out. I heard she had a yeah, she real, and I, and I, you know, I, I reached my hand out to him, because uh, I'm real. Yeah, I, I reached out to him, bro. I met his mom, and she a good, she a good woman, bro. And when I see them mamas like that, I, I, it remind me of what my mom was going through, bro. The 
prosecutors will be using this against YNW Melly's bond hearing hopes. And if YNW Melly doesn't get accepted for the bond hearing or house arrest, everything will get much worse. And allow me to explain. A report would go and share, YNW Melly has been incarcerated for 1,870 days despite not being found guilty. His latest court hearing yeah. shared his release date. As he would go on to That's detail like everything years, and to understand five, when the release years. date could be, you first need to understand that Danny Polo is returning from the original trial to now help out the newly said, prosecutor as these two together would investigate through YNW Melly's social medias trying to find new evidence that they can use to counter YNW Melly's house arrest submission they ended up finding a very concerning photo on his Instagram same thing the use of the uh, slap term 5.0 star snake you uh, saying he's YSL saying he's and uh puts up his YNW uh, for life hashtag on it with the uh, five one star as well. Mr. Devitt had a big meeting at signs post uh, displayed. I'm trying to see the individuals again. I'm assuming that's also the young dog. That's all I don't know. Yes. Also important to your investigation, correct? Yes. Also publicly available for anyone to see and tap. As this would end up revealing that YNW Melly's team YNW could have street ties connected to Young Thug's team YSL. This one simple piece of evidence would end up having YNW Melly's court sessions all delayed by several months as all the prosecutors and everyone involved in the court case now needs to investigate it. Which is why YNW Melly's mom would go on her Instagram with a report sharing. Melly's mother, Jamie King, informed a friend about the trial update and the appeal process via Instagram Live. King shared the appeal process process could take anywhere from five months to a year. It delayed my baby's trial again, so. So, if finished and now he got, it was. It was a mistrial. Mis trial. Oh, okay. And they didn't give him a bond, which I've never heard of people not getting a bond on a mistrial. I, I, I have. I have. I yeah. have, because my kids, people, say happening, no bond. Yeah. Like, like, what? And then now, so now. It's delayed again because the judge like ruled on a bunch of like evidence from the first trial that wasn't gonna be allowed to be used. Right. So the prosecutors appealed it, the ruling. So now it's gone to the fourth DCA, and that can take anywhere between five months and a year. Yeah. So they, yeah. You don't like what the judge said because your warrants were illegal. Very convenient when YNW Melly has his best chance of a release on bond until the retrial begins. They now find this new piece of evidence out of nowhere, and it now delays everything by five months. This relates perfectly to what Boosie said about YNW Melly. When the feds want you, they'll do anything to get you, and they will not let you out of jail. Now they're putting you more charges on them, and then, um... When they want you, they want you. I knew they, I knew they wanted them bad when they waited for that law to get passed. They waited oh, so all the way... Penalty. So it'd be 8 4. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, they waited all the way to that law got passed to take him to trial. Yeah, he was in jail for what, two years, three years? Yeah. They could have been taking to trial. You're right. They waited to that law got passed and took him to trial a couple months later. When they want you, they want you, man. Uh, just don't see how they, he didn't get a bond after a fing mistrial. Yeah. That made me like, God damn. Yeah. Like, after a mistrial, that doesn't. that. That doesn't happen, really. Again, bad for YNW Millie, man. I'm not going to even capture y'all. Let's see what they talking about, man. And keep on pushing it back, man. So, page five is set for trial, September the 10th, 2025, at 9 o'clock, at the same date and time. So, I'm going to get y'all a trial order. It's going to be uh, Wednesday, September the 10th, 2025, at 9 o'clock. I'll sign a separate order today, Mr. Gilman. Uh, this case been uh, happening for so damn long, man. This shit is wild. He gotta be in jail for at least about six, seven years, man. Gotta be. Calendar call in the meanwhile, and then if something changes about that, I'm sure you all will let me know. Uh, so, Coral Henry, the bottom of the Free that nigga lined up, really, man. 10, 20, 25, at 9 o'clock, at the same date and time as Mr. Demons. I'll sign a separate order today that he's gonna be addressed for trial on that day. The uh, Mr. Devin's case in the top of page 10, which is the new tampering case. I'll give that a calendar call December the 5th, 8.45 a.m. December the 5th at 8.45 a.m. On the 
the bottom of page 10, Portland Henry. That is the tampering case in that case. That's how I get the nigga fun. Tampering case. Status mm. that Judge Murphy previously set. I'll give that case a counter call December the 5th at 845. So they're going to trial at the same time. This is bad. This is bad. From what I just heard the judge say, it seems like they're about to try Cortland Henry and YNW Melly at the same time. The judge said, YNW Melly said Wednesday, September 10th, 2025 at 9 a.m. That will be the start of his double murder retrial. He then said something about the bottom of page five, Cortland Henry set for trial September 10th, 9 a.m. Same bad. time as Mr. Demons, that he will be prepped for trial. That's the same thing I heard. So anybody who's listening to this video right now, if you heard something different, let me know. Now let's get into the details of what's been happening behind the scenes as we move forward to getting this thing out the way. Everybody is tired. The judges are tired. The prosecution is tired. The lawyers, the lawyers probably are not tired because they're getting paid a whole lot of money to do what they're doing. And as long as the trial keeps going or the case keeps running, then the money keeps piling up. So I don't think they'll be tired of that. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. Everybody else, including fans, yeah. well-wishers, and people who think YNW Melly is guilty and they just want to see this out the way. YNW Melly returned to court in Broward County on Monday where a judge set a date for his double murder retrial. Monday, this is July 8th of 2024. The judge has just set the date for his double murder retrial. This comes months after his retrial was placed on hold. The rapper, whose real name is Jamel Demons, is accused of murdering two of his childhood friends, Chris Y.W. Juvie Thomas and Anthony Y.W. Sack Chaser Williams. In 2018, after a late night recording session by making it look like a drive-by shooting. Y'all know how the whole scenario goes already. So on Monday, today, Judge Martin Fiend set a new trial date of September 10th, 2025. In terms of more recent tampering case, he set a pre-trial meeting yeah. for December 5th of 2024. So December 5th, 2024, they're going to court again, and that will have to do with the tampering charges that they have. So I guess they want to get those out the way first before they get to the actual murder trial, because the murder trial is not set till September 10th of 2025. Now, you got to ask yourself, how come it's a new judge that's setting the trial date? Did they have the judge removed that was on this case all along is that judge burnt out did the judge request for himself to be removed from the trial or did somebody request for that judge to be removed from the trial i don't know but as you can see this is judge martin fien this is not the judge that has been on this trial the whole time the first double murder trial against YNW Melly ended in a mistrial last summer of 2023. The a judge's TV. ruling in January to suppress a promotional video about Melly's life from evidence that was prompted prosecutors to file an appeal, delaying the case for months. They put the video up. They said, hey, we want to show this video at trial. YNW Melly's attorney said, nope. We don't want that video shown at trial. That was only a promotional video, and it could have the jury look at him in a biased way. So they filed an appeal, and that motion they filed froze the case. He attended a recent hearing in late April after Melly's attorneys asked to discuss the outstanding motions that are in the case. They wanted to proceed with discovery, including taking depositions and doing everything else while they await the decision if that video 
should the promotional video footages should be shown or not at the trial. But prosecution said, nah, we're not doing all of that. Too much jumbling, mumbling. So the prosecution claims that the hearing should not be held since the appeal court had issued a stay in the proceedings. So it froze everything. Judge John Murphy III is the actual judge who was on this case before. And now we have Judge Fien giving a new trial date for when the murder trial is supposed to restart, which is September 25th, and they go to court in December for the tampering charges. Judge John Murphy III, he ruled in January that the jury should not see the 20-minute documentary about Melly's life and his rise to fame, which was filmed just before the double murders. Yeah, I think that should be the video either. often shows... YW Melly holding a weapon, a gun. In the last few seconds of the video, it mentions the deaths of Thomas and Williams. The defense argued that the video is hearsay, but the state says it's not hearsay, and that video actually proves that Melly was actually at the scene of the crime. So you see why it would be important for YNW Melly's attorneys to want that piece of evidence to be thrown out. Now, because the appeal is from a order that's granting a motion to suppress evidence, the state is automatic. The state argued. They said that the judge does not have the authority to allow discovery to proceed while the case is on appeal. The defense said that the rule does not require a blanket stay on all issues and said that it wants to explore, among other things, the broadness of a search warrant for text messages from 2018. What they're trying to do is narrow down all the text messages. For those of y'all who saw the first trial uh, last year that ended in a mistrial, a lot of the time, the prosecution spent a lot of time going through phone records, text messages, text conversations, trying to prove that that phone was YNW Melly's phone. His now defense team is like, yo, if we could get to those text messages and have a lot of the text messages thrown out and have it narrowed down more, then that would be a good look for our client, YNW Melly. After a brief argument from both sides... Judge Murphy made no decision, just took everything under advisement. So based on that, that's where we're at with that. Now, out of the blue comes YNW Melly's lawyer or ex-lawyer, and he is calling Florida prosecutors out for mishandling his client's case. He is not his client anymore. But he was. So rapper YNW Melly was arrested and charged with two counts of first degree murder in February of 2019 pertaining to the murder of his two friends. He allegedly staged a crime scene to appear like a drive-by shooting. And while the proceedings were declared a mistrial in June of 2023, the rapper was set to be retried. Melly still awaits a retrial. However... However, the rapper's former attorney, Bradford Cohen, took to Instagram July 3rd of 2024, right before 4th of July, stating that he has never seen anything like this. In the Instagram post sharing an order from the District Court of Appeal, Cohen mentioned that the Broward State Attorney's Office really screwed this case up. He also stated that he said, quote unquote, this is a real circus over this case and mishandled from the first day when I was in the case. I don't know if he's ready to tell it all or this might be one of the reasons why he left the case, but it seems like it. So the rapper's former attorney also mentioned that it was unbelievable 
that Florida prosecutors, which were the Broward State Attorney's Office in the case, would mishandle such an important double murder case because of their ego. Wine W. Melly's trial began on June of 2023, and it was declared a mistrial by Judge John J. Murphy III after the jury underwent an apparent deadlock for three days in July of 2023. Moreover, the rapper's mistrial underwent multiple pushbacks from several reasons, including Melly changing his attorney and the imposition of additional witness tampering charges. We all know about all that, right? That's why why Bortland is back in custody awaiting his trial as well, which seems is about to happen. Now I'm wondering, because I know they can't try them together because Melly is facing the death penalty, but Bortland is not facing the death penalty. So are they about to have two separate trials going on in the same building at the same time, but just two separate trials? That would be crazy. The jury selection in Melly's case began in October of 2023 for the retrial. However, the proceedings were put on hold indefinitely by reasons of motions and appeals that were being sought out before the jury selection was resumed. Here we are. In recent Instagram posts by YNW Melly's former attorney, Bradford Cohen, he mentioned that he refused to pass the rapper's case to an un conflicted state attorney's office after the prosecution listed one of its own state attorneys christine bradley as a witness and if you remember judge john j murphy removed christine bradley from the case because of this very same reason however broad circuit court judge john j murphy ousted the state attorney as a witness given that she was involved in a 2022 case that was linked to allegations of Christine's wrongdoing by Miramar Police Detective Mark Moretti. For those of you who don't know, it was said that Mark Moretti asked another detective to lie for him and said he was in the room when he was confiscating a phone from YNW Melly's mom. He was supposed to have somebody else there with him. And this is where another um, one of their team members said she overheard uh, that that guy was not in the room. So the lead detective in this case was lying. And uh, Christine Bradley they were accusing her of working with Mark Moretti to cover up. Investigations were done. Nothing came out of it because it was all found that that's not how it went. Now, moreover, the lower courts also ruled that the Florida prosecutors cannot cross-examine one of their own attorneys, explaining the consequences of the same Bradford Cohen mentioned. He said, that means... If they stay in the case, there will be no cross-examination of the state attorney testified that the lead detective lied about the services of a subpoena. The appellate court just agreed with the lower court. Additionally, Cohen also commented on how YNW Melly's case was mishandled from the start. And he said, bad investigation and even a worst trial. If YNW Melly is convicted in a double murder case, he faces the possibility of prison without the option for parole, or he could possibly get the death penalty. In, now, y'all know, it used to be that you needed 12 jury members to all unanimously vote for the death penalty. But Florida's governor changed that. DeSantis said all we need is eight eight of the 12 say death penalty then death penalty it is matter of fact a case just passed where the dude with all the tattoos on his face i forgot what his name is he looked like the joker he just got the death penalty handed down and it was eight of the jurors that said death penalty while four said they don't know they weren't too sure so they're gonna vote i don't know but not a definite yes. And he got the death penalty. So that's where we're at with YNW Melly's case. So the news of the day is the judge just handed down that the YNW Melly's 
double murder retrial will begin September 10th of 2025 at 9 a.m. Period. And Cortland Henry is set for trial September 10th at 9 a.m. as well. Again, my question is, are they going to run these two cases simultaneously in two different courtrooms at the same time? Because I know they cannot try both of them together. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. I'll catch you on the next video. It's SoFlow TV. I mean Brain Flow TV. Coming home, guys. Just patience. So we did have court today. Him and Bort. They both had court. And so basically... The judge put the a new TV. trial date in for September 10th of 2025. Please make it make sense. Um, we still have, I uh, think, three or four more things up on appeal with the 4th DCA. So we're still kind of like in a stay. And no so cap, we gotta his get mama things. is. Damn. I just, I don't know. Man. I don't know. At this point, they need to just dismiss the case. Also, oh, we have another new judge. So this is now the third judge on the same case that's had a mistrial. The prosecution's case is focused on the text evidence, forensic data, and crime scene reconstruction in lieu of an eyewitness to the 2018 killing of YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie, both members of Melly's rap crew. In case you didn't know, ain't no way you didn't know by now. But in his testimony, Detective Mark Moretti focused on private texts and social media correspondences between Melly and others. In one of those messages, Hi, right, welcome back to BrainFlow TV slash Hot Topics TV. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get right into the topic. So, YNW Melly is, as we know, incarcerated. He's been incarcerated for a long That's time a now. A lot of people are saying this is well overdue. The man still has not been found guilty of anything, yet he is still incarcerated. A lot of people are not understanding that due process is in motion. Yes, YNW Melly was incarcerated for a long time, but he's not the only one in the justice system that's been incarcerated for a long time awaiting a trial. And let's remember that he did have his day in court. He did get a trial. His trial ended the way it ended, and then a new trial was requested, which is also a part of the law. And now they're about to move to a new trial. Of course, a lot of his fans want him to be released, because they're saying it's been too long and you still haven't found him guilty. Well, that's not how the work, how the justice system works. But let's talk about his conditions, his living conditions. So I'm following Bryson Boom Paul, who is obviously a YNW Melly advocate, right? Hashtag YNW Melly trial two. He said when asked about YNW Melly's well-being, his attorney Raven Liberty provided me with the following update. So Raven Liberty said, quote unquote, Jamel is as positive as one can be in his situation. He has no yeah, yeah, human I mean, contact outside of his lawyers. He has a guard on him all the times who have all been instructed to not say a word to him. And he doesn't have a door on his cell. Despite all the attempts to break him, he is stoic. Man, listen, I'm going to say this again. Let the chips fall where they may. I hate seeing a young brother who is talented and could have been so many great things go through all this. But I feel like justice needs to be served. And after watching the first trial, I was one of the people that came away saying, oh, he's guilty as shit. Like, he is way guilty. There is no way. The only thing YNW Melly's defense team could come up with at the end was when they brought in that last guy in the trial to say that Melly had got out of the car down the road in the dark to take a piss. 
and got into a different vehicle. But we already had Trayvon Glass, who was in that other vehicle, who told us that YNW Melly never got out of the vehicle that he left on camera in. He stayed in that vehicle. Trayvon Glass testified, Melly never got in my vehicle. I would have seen it. So they tried to ask Trayvon Glass, well, you said in a part of your statement that you were sleeping. So maybe when you were sleeping because you were tired and y'all were drinking and smoking, you probably didn't realize he got in the vehicle. Trayvon Glass did one more up on them. He said, well, when we got to the gate, we have to check in with security to get into the gated complex. And when we got to the gate, I woke up. And when I woke up, I saw everybody that was in the car. And YNW Melly, again, was not in my vehicle. That shit right there killed everything his attorneys were trying to use to defend him in court. Because they have no defense for YNW Melly. And the messed up part is the security guard shack at the gate of the complex... The gated community where the house is that they had to stop in order to go in to check in with security. It has a camera there. And guess what? They have a footage from the camera looking right into the vehicle. And you can see Trayvon Glass woke up, his eyes wide open, and he is looking around in the vehicle. He's actually looking at the direction of the camera. So his testimony in court where he said, I might have fell asleep when I left the studio because I was tired and we were all drinking, smoking weed or whatever. The part where he said, when I got to the gate, I sure as hell did wake up. Well, the video footage from the security system at the gate shows him doing exactly what he said he did on camera. So I can't back YNW Melly for this because I believe he's guilty. Now, the conditions that he's living in right now, well, that's prison for you. And that's where you go when you are guilty of committing a double murder. No, no it's not I mean, come on guilty. Now, y'all. They like These are his friends from his too. sandbox days. These are his friends from he was a titty bopper. These are his friends from youngin days. And, was right? for almost and years. you just turn around and murked your homies. I don't know what the motive was. I don't know if it was gang initiation. I don't know if it was they had beef and squabbles. I don't know if it was over the ownership of the YNW Melly or the YNW brand. I don't know if it was money wasn't being shared up right. I don't know if it was his attempt to go to the top of stardom riding on the back of tragedy. Kind of like how Puffy at the top. Diddy rode on the back of the assassination of the notorious B.I.G. and ended up being one of, if not the biggest thing in rap, hip-hop, for some time. Puffy wasn't known as an artist before Biggie died. Puffy was in and out of everybody's videos, doing his little dance thing here and there, saying a few words here and there. But when Biggie died, Puffy turned into a complete artist and rode to the top of the charts on that tragedy. So, death usually sells lots of records and propels whoever was in close encounter and close to the persons who died propels them to the to, to the top of superstardom and i don't know if this was a plan a plot for ynw melly to make it that big in the music industry i mean he was already touching bases rubbing elbows with people He's like already, kanye west that. and others in the entertainment industry who are big influential names multi-millionaires exactly or billionaire at one point right so so most people that's where you reach when you have arrived so Melly had pretty much arrived and he was about to be extremely big in the entertainment industry I don't know why all this happened I'm not trying to say I have the all the answers but the conditions she said Jamel is in a positive Jamel is as positive as one can be in this situation. Oh, yeah, yeah, he got has it. no human contact outside of his lawyers. You know, you gotta be Somebody got to feed him on a daily basis. What do you mean he got no human contact? 
somebody feeds him on a daily basis. Yeah, I mean, he, he gets he, out he to go to the showers. Go the, uh, he fucking goes and, to and, rent and the food at the, least the one field. hour every 24 hours. Yeah, I mean, you have he contact with gets him. human contact. Down, the no, idea no, that no, they're no. trying to sell to the public is that he is being treated so inhumane if even you're in though the, a you trial know, has been not found before. him guilty. And then she goes they on they to you say human that he has a guard on him at all times. That means you, you got human contact. instructed to not say a word that means you to in a him. Cell and, and he they doesn't have a door on his cell. He doesn't have a door on his cell. Okay. Mm-hmm. That means they've taken the door off of his cell so you can go in and out of his cell as you please. This is keeping him under close watch because he is known to be into things inside of the institution. He was accused of getting into a lot of things inside of the institution. And because he is Jamel Demons or YNW Melly, he has clout, right? So he can influence a lot of people and have people people do things for him so with his trial pending and with what they have found out before this is where the tampering charges come from remember he has tampering charges witness tampering charges which he will now have to answer to in december of 2024 or there will be a uh, court case management hearing that will go on concerning that particular charge but this is where he got the charge from from his activities behind those walls. May I remind you that Detective Polo was actually doing an investigation as a gang investigator on another high-ranking blood individual who was incarcerated at the same jail that YNW Melly was incarcerated at. And they were doing an investigation on him and listening on his phone calls he was charged with racketeering. That's what that guy was charged with. And it had nothing to do with YNW Melly. And the more they listened to his phone call, guess who crossed paths and was wrapped up in his business? YNW Melly. This is stuff that they have proven. This is stuff that they have given to us. So I think the public out here, we're forgetting about the details of this case. You know, and somebody is saying, damn, this thing has been dragged on for so long that there might not be any justice for YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie. They didn't deserve to die the way that they did. If y'all had beef, y'all could have went your separate ways, but they should have never died the way that they did. End of the day, we don't know what the real motive was, and I hope that one day we find out. But we know now for sure that it was not a drive-by shooting let's not forget that their story is that it was a drive-by shooting and it has been proven over and over sideways left to right right to left up to down down up forward and back that this was not a drive-by shooting this shooting occurred inside of the vehicle and then was staged to look like a drive-by shooting so where did that story come from He doesn't have a door on his cell. He has guards on him. They're watching him. Yeah, and that's what's supposed to happen in this situation. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. I look forward to the trial. This trial is going to be a freaking fiasco, okay? And I won't even say why yet, but we'll keep you posted and updated. And in case you didn't know, the last video already told you that the new retrial date for the double murder is set for September 10th of 2025. That's our next One year away and more from now. But when we get there, we'll get there and we'll see what the outcome is. What do you think the outcome is going to be when they go around again? My prediction is the state has taken their time now to tighten up every angle and they are going in for the kill. There's no way that YNW Melly can beat this trial. But there are people who are saying money talks and bullshit walks. And if he is seen as a person who can make a lot of money in the entertainment industry for a lot of big wigs, you might see him walk. But what about YNW Bortland? Is YNW Bortland going to fold and finally tell 
or as Wine W. Bartman so blinded by loyalty that he is going to give up his entire life and go do a life sentence. Because you know, if Wine W. Bartman gets convicted, this is going to be life without the possibility of parole. Are you that loyal to anybody that you would be willing to give up your life? And go do life without the possibility of parole. Nigga, if he get, if he loyalty, says, nigga, he gonna be dead. He gonna be dead outside. Or he gonna be, or he gonna be in the, in the cell alive, nigga. Which one you gonna pick? Rich, dead outside or alive in, prison, in the cell, nigga? Leaving you in there, being loyal, you be talking about? or would you speak up and try to save yourself? You speak up, you dead. You don't speak up, you, speak up, you alive in the cell. Talk to me. Fuck is he talking? Let's about? have a conversation. Hit that subscribe button. You already know. It's Brain Flow TV Speak slash up, Hot Topics TV. And if the Don't topic is hot, you're alive. we're on it. I'm out. Peace. I'll be back. So y'all sleep on that shit, man. They trying to say that he got tampering. They trying to get this nigga for tampering with evidence, witnesses, and, 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 and extra shit on the trial, man. And, you know... They got a little bit of evidence, man. This shit is going crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, nigga, you already facing the death penalty, bro. Even if you beat this death penalty, they gonna try to rack it to you on with some new charges, man. You know what I'm saying? And the judge, like, they, like I said, this was a mistrial. So they, he, young, why do you really try to get like, basically like, he trying to get like to go to the crib, but like you know how you get on house arrest. He trying to get that after this after this um mistrial. Nope, nigga. They don't care if it's mistrial or no mistrial. They won't wind up in that prison. You know what I'm saying? And it sucks because he been that bitch for, for a long ass time already. You know what I'm saying? At, like niggas don't understand, man. It's been m multiple times where people been in prison for a life sentence that they didn't even do, and they didn't find out until it's like already. He done already almost completed the whole life sentence. And they done, then they sue the niggas and get like a million dollar settlement. You know what I'm saying? We done seen that before, man. You know what I'm saying? These cops will try to lock up anybody and frame you for anything. You know what I'm saying? It's like people can be like, oh, well, it's just play clothes. People don't understand. If, if, if it sounds too good to be true, sometimes it is. Because look at this. They said, okay, yeah, why and Daddy Me was riding with his boys and he was behind him and he got mad at him because they were trying to store them and he shot them both in the head. If it sounds too good to be true, it might be too good to be true. You know what I'm saying? We just can't say, okay, well, it looks like it because it could be a whole other different story out here that we don't even know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know that plenty of times in my life, man. If it looks too good, sometimes it is too good. You know what I'm saying? They just trying to get this case out your way and and um and so they can look good. But we don't know what's the real reasoning behind why they want to get YNW Millie out the paint. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what's the real reasoning behind it. Cause honestly, it was a drive-by. You know what I'm saying? And they still haven't found the people who did the drive-by. They trying to say that he did it. But we don't know. You know what I'm saying? And they got all this evidence and they got these fake ass gang members who was supposed to be part of the gang who testifying against who was a rat or some shit who testifying against YNW Millie. You know what I'm saying? So they they trying to make sure that they get this shit sorted up and case in, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be the first one to tell you prison is not what it's, what it's cut up to be. You don't want to be stuck in prison. You don't want to be in that bitch fighting for your life or the death penalty. Because at the end of the day, man, we we got a life to live, man. Nobody want to live their life behind the bars. You know what I'm saying? And some of the people, I guess YNW Borton, his friend is my, well, if he say loyalty and he go down with the case and he get, he get life sentences, nigga, y'all don't understand. If that nigga snitch, he dead out, outside in the world. He damn if he do, damn if he don't, nigga. So what would you ready be? You snitch and make up some lies, snitch on the nigga, and he won't, and you lie about it and snitch, and you get out and they kill you, or you get, or you tow it down and you go to jail in prison. But at least you alive. You get to see your family every now and then. You get to uh, eat. You get to meditate and, 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 and you know and do what they do. 
You gotta make it make sense, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, he don't think that his friend did it. You know what I'm saying? If his friend, if, if he don't hold it down for Brian W. Millie, honestly, he feel like Brian W. Millie didn't do the shit. You know what I'm saying? We can't force no nigga to snitch on a nigga if he, if he didn't even do it. You get the other bozo clowns to snitch because they ain't really part of the case. So they can say whatever the fuck they want to. They ain't just trying to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of that, man, you know, prayers out to his mama, man. His mama is one tough lady, man. She's bad than a bitch. I ain't gonna cap. Um, she's still bad. After so long, when, she, when we first seen her, man, she been, she's still bad, man. That bitch is... Um, that's what type of... That's the type of parent you want behind you. Because there's too many other parents, man. Some shit happens... They they, 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 they giving you up, man. If it's somebody else, parents, they giving you up. They ain't fighting for shit. They'll go against you like, um, like, um, on the case of shit. They'll snitch on your ass. They ain't trying to help you fight. You know what I'm saying? That's, we got too many parents who, who are willing to give up their kid and don't do nothing about it. Some pussy ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? Pussy ass parents. You know what I'm saying? She's a real one. She fighting for her son till the end. She ain't gonna give up and she own that shit, man. And you know it's sad, you know we got we we, we we in these situations as a, as black youth to going up to adults, but you know it make well don't kill us, make us stronger. So hopefully he don't die from this shit. He gets stronger and they let him out on house arrest. Or they or he can win the case, man. That's what we all hoping for, man. Free wild W mini, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this video and we out the bitch hood. Yeah, yeah, like I said, they pushed it back to September the 10th, 2025. We out the bitch hood and outside. Come real game. <laughs> Hey, Dad, you know what I want. Mean. We need to talk about this shit. Be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it, so. Hold that camera.